The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Well, hello everyone. Uh, thank you for attending today's webinar, Changing the Project Accounting Game with Jernix and Microsoft Project. My name is Carrie Foster, and I'm the Director of Marketing here at Jernix, and I'll also be playing the part of your moderator today. Uh, we're joined by Brian Maxson, who's the Director of Sales here at Jernix, and today he'll be talking about how Jernix will help you create a crucial connection of project time and expense data between Microsoft Project and your Dynamics ERP system. This will be a pretty short webinar uh, where Brian will give you a high-level overview of how it works and then we'll give you an opportunity to ask any questions you have at the end. Uh, if you do have any questions, uh, just feel free to enter those into the questions box in your GoToWebinar panel. And one last item before we get started, uh, this webinar is being recorded and the recording will be sent out by email within the next few days. So now with that, I will turn it over to Brian. Awesome. Thank you, Carrie. Uh, again, guys, thanks for uh, taking the time for us here this afternoon. Uh, again, as, as Carrie mentioned, if you guys have any questions, feel free to uh, send those through the uh, the chat box and, and we'll make sure to uh, to cover those towards the end of the presentation. <clears throat> so as Carrie mentioned, uh, what we're trying to show you guys today is uh, sort of a solution that we've come up to try to help change uh, the game when you're talking about uh, project accounting and the use of Microsoft Project. So the biggest challenge really is, uh, and this is really meant for more project oriented organizations, uh, but a lot of times you've got, uh, you've got project managers that need to be able to manage their uh, project, project schedules and resources in Microsoft Project. And you've got people in a cost accounting role um, or maybe an accounting uh, billing role, need to be able to measure their costs using their Dynamics ERP solution. Uh, and you wanna be able to manage uh, both of those processes uh, with the same project time and expense data. So the big issue that we've experienced in just uh, you know being in the industry for, uh, man, going on 20 years now, and talking to a lot of folks that use Dynamics for ERP and Microsoft Project for their project and resource planning needs is that there's not really an easy way to get those two systems to talk to each other. Uh, there may be some, you know, Excel import export processes, uh, but those are, are pretty manual and pretty labor intensive to get those two systems to talk to each other. <clears throat> so what we've uh, determined is in this environment, uh, in this scenario, there's there's really three players that come into play here. Uh, the first of those is Microsoft Project. So you've got your project and resource managers uh, that need to be able to uh, you know, measure their, schedule their projects out, assign resources to those projects, and measure their actuals to their project uh, plans and estimates. The second player is going to be the, the Dynamics ERP folks. So uh, your finance directors, people in accounting, maybe even payroll administrators, uh, if you guys are even paying your employees through Dynamics. And of course, a third player in this uh, scenario is going to be your end users, your employees, maybe even your managers uh, to be able to collect that time and expense entry on projects. <clears throat> so the first uh, player in this is, is the Microsoft Project, and you're, again, your project and resource managers. And some of the challenges that exist here is uh, your project resource managers are uh, you're creating your project schedules in Microsoft Project. Uh, you're assigning your resources uh, within your WBS structures. But what's difficult about that is that your resource managers are having to maintain uh, a completely different set of resources in Microsoft Project, external of all the resources that you have in your Dynamics ERP solution. In addition to that, the methods right now for entering in your project time or your project actual work within Microsoft Project, are, they're just not very user friendly. Uh, and so very uh, often project managers are having to update this information very manually in their Microsoft Project files. 
The second player is the Dynamics ERP folks. So again, your finance, accounting, payroll administrators. I don't know if I would call these challenges, but <clears throat> at a high level, you have to maintain your, uh, your projects, and I'll use maybe uh, GP project accounting terminology here, uh, but your cost categories, your pay codes, bill codes, and all of your employee information in Dynamics. <clears throat> and when you're trying to do your uh, end of period processing of that data, uh, you're having to get the time and expense data information fed in from some external source, whether it be a business portal or maybe some of the self-service uh, tools that are available, maybe their Excel spreadsheets, maybe even in paper timesheets in, in this day uh, still exist. But it's, uh, it's sort of a big hassle to collect that data in a manual uh, or not very user-friendly uh, manner and feed that into your Dynamics ERP solution. Uh, so that you can uh, do your, your posting, measure your cost on projects, bill your customers, and pay your employees. Uh, that third player that we mentioned, again, is sort of your end users, or maybe even your managers, if we're talking about sort of a field services environment where you've got uh, sort of a crew-based uh, time entry requirement. And so some of the challenges that you've got with doing time and expense entry, first of all, if people have to try to enter uh, time on projects for their Microsoft project assignments, but also enter uh, time on projects for uh, cost accounting purposes, then very often people are having to enter this time and expense data into multiple systems. Uh, as we know, people don't like to track their time and expense data as is. So when we ask them to do it twice, uh, they get a little bit grumpy about that. Um, the second real challenge is, and I mentioned this a little bit before, is the, the data entry options that exist sort of out of the box for Microsoft Project and Dynamics ERP options, they're just not very user friendly. Um, and because of that, uh, the user experience is not the best. And so the accuracy of the data is typically missing. Uh, it's gonna, and that requires a lot of people on the back end uh, to do a lot of effort to fix bad data or to really uh, consolidate all of that information together so you can do your reporting on the back end. Uh, approval workflows in some of your manual processes like time, like paper or Excel or even in uh, like, a, like a business portal uh, type option, uh, typically the workflows are pretty limited. Uh, there's not a lot of flexibility around multi-level uh, and there's not a lot of flexibility around sheet-based approvals, but also more importantly, maybe project-based approvals. Um, and so one of the real challenges is trying to get uh, not only timesheet data uh, entered and collected, but it approved in a timely fashion because it's not very flexible and not very user-friendly. I mentioned this briefly, and this really more applies to uh, maybe field services organizations, construction, maybe utility organizations, but if you've got a lot of people out in the field and you've got foremen or supervisors or crew managers that need to enter time uh, for their crew on their behalf, uh, there's a big challenge there with some of the options that are available within the Dynamics ERP suite uh, and that that concept of a crew-based entry uh, just doesn't exist right now. Um, and then uh, sort of the final challenge with the time and expense entry collection process is once you've even collected the data, you fix the data, uh, managers have approved the data, then again, because you're talking about trying to get this data into two different critical business systems, uh, your backend system administrators have to spend a lot of time and effort entering this project time and expense data into two different systems, both Microsoft Project and also into your Dynamics ERP. So what's the solution to this, this problem? Um, so we have worked with a few of our existing customers that have this exact scenario where uh, they're using Dynamics ERP for cost accounting and they're using Microsoft Project Desktop or Project Server uh, to be able to schedule their projects and assign resources to that. And so the, the solution that we've come up with is, is a way to be able to marry uh, all that data together through one simple uh, solution. 
So the first component of that solution is a, a software that we call uh, Drenix Project Link. Uh, and this is the tool that allows you to synchronize uh, Drenix with Microsoft Project or Project Server. And how it works is that Project Link allows us to pull in uh, your work breakdown structure uh, from Microsoft Project into Drenix. So we're talking about uh, your projects, subtasks, maybe even sub subtasks. Uh, you also have the ability to bring any of your resource assignments in from Microsoft Project into Drenix as well. Um, the One of the big key components and where this solution is, is a little bit different is that <clears throat> we're also able to sync with your Dynamics ERP solution and bring in that high level project from Dynamics into Drenix. And so when you're syncing your WBS from Microsoft Project to Drenix, you have the option to be able to pick the high level Dynamics project that you would like to reparent your WBS uh, project task structure underneath. And so when you're talking about collecting your time on projects, because you're able to do this reparenting, uh, you're actually able to roll up through the subtasks to the Microsoft project, but also up to that parent high level project that exists in your ERP solution so that you can send your project time back into that solution as well. So that's a big key factor in, in this part of the solution. <clears throat> Another uh, issue that we mentioned earlier in, in the process is that if you've got ERP, your ERP solution uh, managing your resources, but you also require those resources in Microsoft Project, there's not a really easy way to maintain both of those lists unless you're doing it pretty manually. Uh, what Project Link also allows you to do is when we pull in all the resources from ERP into Drenix, then we can take that same resource list and feed that into your resource sheets uh, and resource pools within Microsoft Project and Project Server. And finally, once the time has been collected uh, in Drenix, we have the ability to send that approved time uh, on your projects back into Microsoft Project as actual work which basically alleviates the, the project manager from having to manually enter that data back into their project schedules to update uh, their actual work to their project estimates. Um, the second component of this solution is um, a tool that we call Drenix Account Link for Dynamics. And this can apply, uh, I've mentioned uh, GP Project Accounting briefly, but this really can apply for any of the flavors of Dynamics, whether it be GP, AX, uh, NAV, or even SL. <clears throat> and it's a bi-directional integration with your Dynamics ERP solution. And by that, what I mean is that we can sync in what we call your business data. So again, any of your projects, high-level projects, uh, your cost categories, pay codes, bill codes, and even any of your employee data and related attributes can flow in from your Dynamics ERP solution into Drenix. We also have the ability to automate the creation of any workflows that you may have set up in Dynamics ERP uh, from uh, multi-level workflows that are either manager and sheet based, or again, even a project-based approval workflow process that's available within Drenix. Uh, through controls that exist, uh, as an example, again, in GP Project Accounting, if you're using uh, project access tables, we can uh, limit the different projects, cost categories, as an example, that people have access to within Drenix, so they don't track their time against the wrong projects and cost categories. And then once that time has been uh, submitted for approval through the workflow process and it's been approved, uh, then the account link for Dynamics tool also has the ability to send that approved time and expense data from Drenix back into your Dynamics ERP solution. So again, you can do your, your project cost accounting, uh, your billing to clients, and maybe even uh, process your payroll. So the third uh, component of this, obviously, and I've touched on this quite a bit, is, is Drenix. And this is gonna be where you can collect your time and expense uh, data on projects. And the, some of the, the benefits here is that uh, employees or managers can enter this project time and expense data 
through a really user-friendly uh, interface. It really, there's a lot of features built into Journix that helps improve that user experience to help with the, uh, the accuracy of the data entry. Um, we also have a recent uh, integration with your Exchange uh, calendar. Uh, so if people have uh, events on their calendar through Exchange or even in their task list through their calendar, uh, we have the ability to bring in those calendar entries and tasks as what we call suggested entries, um, and along with the, the amount of time scheduled for those. And so in addition to just being able to pick projects that feed in from ERP and Microsoft Project, we give the uh, end user uh, a pretty user-friendly way to interact with their calendar and hopefully improve their user experience for their project time entry. Um, Jernix has a really flexible, multi-leveled approval workflow uh, process. And so again, that can be sheet-based and project-based, uh, multi-level, uh, up to five levels with primary and backup approvers and email notifications across the board to help with the workflow process and making sure everybody gets those uh, entered and submitted on time. Uh, we've also got some data entry validation rules in Jernix. Uh, that help uh, create rules around data entry that hopefully cuts down on some of the uh, data entry on the, the user error standpoint and also hopefully greatly reduces the amount of um, corrections that you have to do on the back end as an administrator. And then finally, uh, I'll mention that again, for people that are out there in those field services, utility, construction type organizations, uh, Jernix has a, a concept of a crew-based entry so a supervisor could enter time on behalf of multiple employees at one time through one screen, as opposed to having to ask them to do it individually. So again, sort of a, in summary here, um, the big challenge that we have right now when you're trying to marry together uh, Microsoft project work with cost accounting in Dynamics ERP is there's not a really a good way, uh, an easy way for those two systems to talk to each other. And so what we've done is we've implemented a solution that helps tie uh, Dynamics ERP through Jernix to Microsoft Project and, and back and forth through our uh, Dynamics Account Link solution and our Jernix uh, Project Link solution. And it really helps tie together uh, all of this information so employees and managers can enter project time and expense data into one place and then we can feed that uh, project time and expense data to both systems, including project uh, reparenting and resource flow as well. Um, so <clears throat> that concludes the uh, sort of presentation part of what I wanted to show you guys and, and, and really explain how we're, we're solving this, this big problem that's out there in the marketplace. Um, I guess at this point, if, uh, if anybody has any questions, um, I will turn it back over to Carrie uh, to help uh, moderate and ask those questions for us. All right. Thanks, Brian. Um, so uh, again, as I mentioned at the beginning of the webinar, if you do have any questions, uh, go ahead and put those into the questions box in your GoToWebinar panel. And we've got a little bit of time here to, to answer your questions here at the end, and then we'll get it wrapped up. Um, so let's see, to start out with, um, so first of all, let's uh, just to reiterate, I think I heard you mention this, Brian, during the webinar. Um, uh, that the solution supports all versions of Dynamics, GP, NAV, AX, and, and SL, correct? That is correct. Yeah, we've uh, we've established the integration with Jernix with all of the, uh, the different flavors of Dynamics ERP. So uh, that includes um, GP, AX, NAV, and SL. Uh, that also includes uh, whether you use the project accounting modules uh, within those solutions or not. We can also post directly to uh, the GL if you're not using project accounting. Okay, great, thank you. Um, next question, uh, does it work with both a uh, project desktop version and project server? It does. Um, so whether you're using project desktop uh, or project server, uh, the project link integration tool works with both of those solutions. Uh, in a project server environment, all you'll really be doing is checking out a project file 
synchronizing that with Jurnix and then checking that file back into uh, the project server interface. Okay, great. And I think we have um, one last question before we wrap it up. Uh, does the time need to be approved before it's sent back to either Dynamics or back to Project? Um, it does. It, in the current versions of Project Link and Account Link, uh, we're only going to send over approved uh, project time and expense data. And mainly that so that uh, you know it's a lot easier to fix that data in Jurnix than it is uh, once we get that time back into Microsoft Project or your Dynamics ERP solution. Uh, so we, we really want that to go through uh, an established workflow and approval process before we send that data back over. Okay, great. Thank you, Brian. Um, if you could advance it to the very last slide there, we'll display some information for you uh, if you want to get in contact with us. If you do have any uh, questions that you think of um, that you didn't get answered today, feel free to reach out, sales at jernix.com, and Brian can answer that for you, or give us a call. Uh, the number is right here. Um, and uh, again, thank you for attending. Uh, we'll be getting the recording out to you in the next few days, and have a great rest of your day.